Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Might and Magic 8. Day of Destroyer. I almost said Mandate of Heaven. <laughs> How is everyone doing today? We are here with Blaine the Minotaur, Elizabeth Lamentia the Vampire, Rani Oskeleton the Dark Elf, and of course, Overdune Snapfinger the Troll, our most recent party member. So, in the last stream, we went back to Iron Sands, cleared out the tomb of the trolls, killed the gogs, put the ashes to rest, got our new party member, went over to Alvar, we spoke to the Merchants Guild, got a small cutscene basically saying the world needs to band together into to form a big mega group and that's the only way we'll survive this oncoming onslaught of the destruction of the world apparently and came to Garrett Gorge met up with the dragon hunters killed this um hive of rats and um stole some cheese and in front of us we have a band of dragons. We've got Dragonette, Hatchlings, Young Dragons, and of course a cavern over here. So we're going to be heading over to this cavern. And I think these guys are friendly. Yeah, they're friendly for now. And we're going to speak with the dragons because we're the monster squad. Obviously, we're going to side with the dragons as opposed to the dragon hunters. Whenever I play this game, I always side with the hunters because I always usually run a knight and you get really ridiculously strong spear. Uh, but this case, this time, it's not the case. We're going completely monsters. So, Dragon Cave. By nature, dragons are solitary beings. Occasionally, a few will nest together, but here in Garrett Gorge... They may have built a mighty society. All right. Society of water. Oh, of the dragons. I've never seen one before. Dragon. This guy's just called Dragon. How much health do these guys have? I have no idea. 700 on the dragon, 1080 on the guards. That's pretty spooky. So this is pretty cool. Got a massive cavern here. A few little caves. If the Lgor's cave, which has Earthent and Ithogor, Master Dragon. Okay, so Dragon is a skill. Dragon, you can actually play a dragon. Uh, do you want to take Ithogor into your party, yes or no? Oh, it is tempting to have a dragon. Dragons are... Oh, we may not enter puny ones. Oh, how rude. Yes, so dragons, you can recruit them. They're really bloody strong. They basically can't have any equipment apart from rings and a gauntlet, I think. And a necklace. Uh, but they have their own skill set. Like, they have Dragon's Breath, which is a really strong spell. They can fly. They can do all sorts. Fireball. Really powerful people. Uh... Balian Terwing. He has a quest. The Dragon Bane Flowers have med many medicinal uses. Oh, basically, there was another guy in the Hunter's uh, camp who was like, oh, we need these flowers, and now this dragon dude needs the flowers. um, Because it could be a made into a poison and an antidote. Antidote. Sorry. And Clain Scarwing. He's got Grand Master Dragon. Jaren Flamey has another quest. You seek the favor of Deft Claw Red Weaver, don't we all? If we're here to kill all the dragon hunters in the Garrett Gorge wilderness, I would be certain to mention you to him. I will also reward you in the position to offer you a generous reward. So, kill all the dragon hunters. Um, Pretty savage, if I do say so. I mean, killing all those humans. But, then again, we are monsters. Maybe it's only fitting. A great worm. 
Oh, they're spooky. They must drop relics for sure. Dragon Leader's Cavern. Deathclaw Red Weaver. Oh, he looks pretty cool. It is only because you're under Bastion Lordran's protection that I've allowed you to this audience. Who's that guy again? Maybe he's a merchant's guild? Uh, no, you stand before Deathclaw Red Weaver. Ultimate flight leader of the Dragons of Jadame. I am not to be tarried with. Speak your business. Alliance. An alliance to unite Jadame, you say. If it wasn't Lordran who was proposing it, I would normally have slain you for my supper. While intrigued, I cannot consider the idea now. Um, we are under daily attack by the accused, accursed, sorry, knights of Charles Quint. If you're not a problem, I would, could do as Lordran asked. Perhaps you could help me deal with Quint's. Okay. Last month, one of Quint's raiding parties invaded our caves. They slew many and took with them the egg containing my unborn heir. Dun dun dun. While those foul slayers hold the egg, we cannot attack their encampment. I mean, you still could. You could surprise attack him, but that's that's only what I would do. I mean, you're obviously the leader of the dragons. You do what you do. I do what I do. If you return the egg to me, I could destroy Quince. It's not Quince, is it? It's got to be like Quizcot. Quizcot. Do this for me and I will join your alliance. All right. And you also have a promotion for... Um, Little dragons. To attain the status of Great Worm, a dragon must prove they can handle himself against a great number of foes. He must face down the vermin that Charles Quince would send against us. To the southeast of here, Quince has established an encampment on his puny of his puny dragon slayers. This camp is led by Jarek Whistlebone, the second in command of Quizcott's army. Destroy this camp. Kill all those who serve in Quizcot. Who serve Quizcot in that region and return to me. Return to me with the sword of the whistle bone the slayer. Um, in doing this, you will prove to me your worthiness. Alright, so you gotta rescue an egg. Slay second in command. Doesn't sound easy. Doesn't sound easy whatsoever, but, hmm. I wonder how friendly the dragon hunters are with the, the Naga there. Because if they were to attack each other, maybe, maybe we can uh, cause an ambush. Oh, hello. Streaming when you're out of the house. I've only just started. We've only been live for about 10 minutes now. Maybe you should have been in the house, but... Good to see you, Calvin. Hope you're doing well. We basically spoken to the, the Dragon Lord, the Red Leader. Or no, the Flight Leader. Red Weaver is his name. Red Reaver? Yeah, Red Reaver. Jeez, it's a mouthful. Deathclaw Red Reaver. There we go. <laughs> I will try to. I don't know if you can actually hear me right now if you're out the house, but I will see. If not, you can catch the VOD at Vaskurd on Twitch. Okay, so we're going to check out this encampment over here down to the south west I don't know it. man it's just it's just gonna be spooky if i do take him down because the dragon hunter pets they've got more hp than the the worms which seem to be the top end dragon creatures 67 67 and also yeah dragon slayers are pretty spooky they'll be tough Crusaders as well. Actually, no, they're pretty easy. I guess the... What's he doing up on the tent there? 
The biggest problem about attacking the encampment, it probably will mean all these hunter pets go aggressive and they'll just delete us for sure. So we have to watch out for that. So we'll probably come back when we're a little bit stronger. Maybe when we've had a few promotions, actually. Maybe when the Minotaur is promoted. It's Dark Elf, possibly. Cool. That's... And I guess we'll have a look up, up here. We'll probably dodge past the, um, the Naga, because they could be pretty vicious. And obviously... Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, all the blade spells going out is going to be pretty loud. I've never seen one before. There somehow. I've never seen one before. 100 HP. Where's the queen? I don't know it. 2558. You can generally tell how tough an enemy is going to be by the amount of HP they have, but there's a lot of them. The Naga Vault. Oh, that looks exactly, or very similar to those uh, vaults in Heroes 3. So that's pretty cool. The stonework facade of this ancient temple has crumbled into the sands of time. Still, its majesty and mystery remain. Why is there a weird-ass little squiggle on the bottom of the sea there? Whoa, oh, guys. Why, I did not expect you to be there. Oh, we died already. Oh, I should have looked at the map. I wasn't expecting all those uh, Nagas to be at the right beside the building. Jeez. Okay. Well, that gets us at a good point to decide what we're actually going to do in today's stream. We've got all these alliances we have to form. The Minotaurs of Ravage Roaming. That could be a good shout, actually, going over to the Minotaurs. Uh, find the egg, which will be in the castle somewhere. Ancient Troll Homeland. I think that's in Murmur Woods, actually. Can't remember. Find the lance, which is somewhere in the Vampire Lands. Kill the Dragon Slayers. Bring some potions. We're not really going to bother that. Deliver fake reports. As Pirate Lord... Or Dread Pirate Stanley. What a name. Shield, fire res potions, flower. Let's see what else. Drum of victory. Oh, we've got two of the cheeses. I think we just need the Dunbuck cheese, right? Yeah, we've got one there. Yeah, we need one more cheese. Uh, right, I'm just drawing a blank what I should do. You know what? Let's go do the Minotaur promotion quest. Or not promotion quest, but let's go see the Minotaurs. I think that would be a good place to start the stream off. Oh, we don't have any gold. Why are we so poor? And I need, I need to sort out our bags as well. This is horrendous. Right, we're still keeping on, keep a hold of the jelly. That's trash. Yep, keep those. Don't need that. Remove fear, probably will be handy. Don't need awaken. Don't need that. Cool. <laughs> Atrocious. I'm so bad at this. We've got so much jelly though. That's what we need to really get rid of. Random bone of doom. Cure disease. Yeah, that's handy. Poison will be handy. Don't need preservation. Fire res, yeah, we don't Oh, we should get fire magic for the uh the dark elf there. In 
enslave. Hmm. Okay, that's slightly bit better. Still not the best, but okay. Storage, you, you can sell that crap. What about the troll? Yeah, that's trash. Great. Okay. Sell the weapons. Weaponsmith, you are over yonder. Great. Oh, a heroism potion. Well, that's cool. Do I have enough money for fire magic? I think so. Learn skills. Fire magic. There we go. What spells do you get straight off the bat with fire magic? You get... Torchlight. Fire res would be pretty good. Good. So only fire aura. Oh well. Not bad. What about earth magic? Stone skin would be nice. It's just nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Right. Two. The Minotaur homeland. How do we get there? Sorry, come back another day. I think it's beside Garrett Gorge. So we probably have to head back to where we just were, sadly. Man, the boats hardly take you anywhere, to be honest. There's very few ports in this game, in fact. Anyway, so we have to run up to... Actually, do we have to run up to Alvar? I think we just go west, right? Yeah, we go west. And then from there... West again, or north? No, north, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five days to Garrett Gorge. I do need to stock up on our food supply here. So quickly we'll do that at the inn. And here we go. And yeah, let's try north. Actually, no, was it not west again? Hold on. We're probably just being delusional. Right, here we go. Yeah, 10 days to ravage roaming. The place to be. This is actually quite a dangerous zone. Ah, uh, you've got a lot of gogs. No, gorgons. Yeah, gorgons, that's it. Again, creatures from Heroes 3, so people will probably recognize them. And actually... Yeah, the Minotaur... Ho oh, and Wyverns as well. we got those Wyverns in this game, jeez. Another blast of the past from uh, Might and Magic 7. What have we got? A dagger over there. Can't see it actually. I don't know it. Trash. Oh, we've got some friendlies. Are these not trolls as well? Ogres. I didn't know ogres were uh, friends. Uh oh, sell credit vouchers. I think we've got a few of those. Whoa, holy crap, that was worth a ton of money. Jeez. Definitely can make a fair bit of profit from the um, 
trading in this game. Not that I ever make use of it. Burial Mound. Uh, okay. Haunted Burial Mound, north of here, apparently. The Easy Life got some Sailor. The Sailor Shack. Um... What was that? Oh, he says he says nothing. Man, look at these ogres. They're so weird. They're like hunchbacks. Followers of Eep. Vish. Alright. Nothing crazy to say there. Free gold, we love it. I have no idea. We don't need this. Let's leave it behind. Always take free gold. Have one plus health point. Why not? Bull's Eye Inn. What a name. And it's got a bunch of minotaurs in it. Play the Archomage. Alright. We might be able to just destroy his walls here. And destroy his... Oh, he just flooded himself? Because that's smart. The barracks there is pretty nice. Oh, of course he uses a dragon on us. I just need a more... Yeah, there we go. Succubus. Oh, here we go. All the pl play agains. There we go. More play again. Switch the walls. Nice. Do the dragon's heart. Oh, gonna sneeze here. Man, oh man. Oh, well, screw it. We'll just go build our tower now. Little by little. Brick by brick, we climb sapphire. Nice. Come on, gnomes. Oh, fire ruby. Yes. Warlord. Huge. Oh, they just gave us... Plus two magic, I think. AI is not that smart. Oh, here we go. Eight damage. Can we do it? Whoa, the audio messed up there. Six damage. Oh, we're so close. So very close. I do like getting a tower destruction win in Arco Major. It always feels good. Because sometimes playing, like building your tower can just take for ages like this instance. We've only got bricks. Brick cards. Stop giving us red cards. It's annoying. Because hmm. in this instance, he might win on the um, recruitment, not recruitment pool, your, um, what do you call it? Resources, yeah. Unless we get lucky. Come on, Dragon's Heart. Or Dragon's Eye, I guess it is. In this instance. It's 
It's not looking good. Come on, we just keep getting crap cards. He still has more resources than us, so it's not good. Not good at all. Where did we lose our wall? Yeah, same here. Archimage is really fun. It's fun. But it's annoying when you get like a really long game like this and you're just gonna lose on such a... Oh, I didn't mean to discard that. Uh, lose for stupid reasons. Uh, actually, we've caught up with the gems, with the resources, so I technically could still win. Uh, I don't want to use Crystallize here. I guess you must need 400 to win. Let's see, plus 11 tower. Let's go for it, let's just push. Push for the win. What can I do? Literally nothing. <laughs> I know, we're like calculating how much resources. Oh, we're pretty close. We're two. Um, I don't want to lose gems. I guess we just have to go with the goblin mob. It never feels good to use a goblin mob. Wait. How did we lose... Wait, what? Something weird happened there for sure. With our gems. Maybe I'm just seeing things. Crap. Yeah, I think I've lost. Yeah, they got 400 points. Fuck's sake. Uh... If you don't win in, like, the first few seconds, then it's pretty bad. Oops, I meant to keep that. Oh, we could just absolutely power up our tower here. But saying that, they get a dragon. What is this? What is that combo he just done? Great. <laughs> Alright, let's steal his um his gems and stuff. Why not? Do the dragon's heart. Try and get the dragon trifecta this game. <laughs> I'm trying. Right, what else can we do? Gemstone flaw. Uh, let's get the full moon so we can get more aggressive cards in play. Tremors for sure. Nothing's good. Oh, there we go. Rock Launcher. Absolute beast of a card. Oh, come on, dragon. Just get a straight up dragon. And we win. Oh, he just damaged himself. 
Come on, we're still hoping for one. Why is our brick so low? Um, grab the pearl. Seven damage, we're so close. So close yet so far. <laughs> Honestly, the game sometimes just kicks you in the shins. It's like they're at zero wall and they're like, all right, let's build some wall. Um, okay, that's bad. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do lodestone, but I misclicked. Hmm. I guess we'll just push for tower. We're kind of past that stage where you're like, you're pretty close to just destroying them outright. The good news is we're up on recruits, so technically we win the long game. We just have to survive to that point. Double plus magic. So that's oh, and he gets the dragon. And warlord. <laughs> now he's going aggressive. Uh, I guess ogre. There we go. All right, now we do dupers. Uh, no, friendly train. Zerk, for sure. We just have to go with the dwarves. Oh, diamond, nice, nice, nice. Nah, there's no point doing discords at this very moment. We're not really close to destroying his tower. Just put us at a loss. So the guy has used dragon and dragon's eye, so he's probably going to get a dragon heart next. And he'll get the trifecta. Uh, go for the mob. Can you get plus, can you get 11 magic? Oh, you can, it does go up. I thought 10 was the cap. We're really close actually to winning here. Um, so basically you just have to survive till then. Easy peasy. Oh, Pegasus Lancer. That's such a good card. Oh, switch walls. Yes. And then we could just damage them for free tower damage. Oh, next turn we win. Nice. Wait, you need more than 400. Wait, on the end of your turn, that makes no sense. But anyway, we won. We built, we beat Bullseye in. That was a pretty tough game, actually. There's always one in the Might and Magic series or Might and Magic game that you're playing that is just, you lose a few times. You just get so unlucky.
bounty for horns of the wyvern cool cool 